Hey beautiful people, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. So today's video is on how I achieved this gorgeous look. I actually received quite a lot of questions about this hair so I thought why not do a young tutorial for you guys. And yeah, all the details will be in the description box. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So I am starting off with freshly washed and conditioned hair. I've already sectioned out my hair into triangles, but you can do whatever shape suits you best. Right now I am putting on a generous amount of leave-in conditioner, which I've mixed my own oils into it. And I'm planning on having this style for quite some time. So it's very important that my hair is moisturized and taken care of underneath this style. And I proceed to do the same thing on the next section. So right now I am braiding my hair. I prefer to braid the first inch or so as a three strand braid and the remainder as a normal two strand twist. I do this just to avoid any slips a little bit later on and it just helps make the section look that much neater but be careful not to make the braid too tight as it may get a little uncomfortable to crochet some hair through the base. And I just repeat the same exact process on the other section. Now that I'm done braiding my hair, I am going to take my forelock extension, which is from Harris, and this is how it looks. I'm going to take my crochet needle, put it through the loop of the forelock, and then attach the crochet needle to my braided hair and kind of just shimmy the forelock up my braid to the base of my braid. Then I'm going to remove the extra hair which is going to be used to wrap the unwrapped parts of the faux lock out of the way just so I can work a little bit more easily. And right now I'm just going to crochet my braided hair through the unwrapped parts of the faux lock. This is just to ensure that the faux lock does not slip. As you can see the forelock is pretty secure so right now I'm just going to take the extra hair which is going to be used to wrap the unwrapped parts of the forelock and I'm going to crochet through the base of my braided hair. This is optional you don't have to do this I just do this because like I said I want to have the style in for quite some time and I feel like this helps to make the forelock that much more secure. You can just start wrapping like I'm doing right now straight away without crocheting the hair through the base and you're just going to wrap until the entire unwrapped part of the forelock is covered. So right now I am twisting the part which I have already wrapped. This is just to make the forelock a little bit tighter and neater. And then I'm going to continue to wrap the hair all the way down until the unwrapped part is completely covered. Once I'm done, I'm going to take my crochet needle and I'm going to crochet it through the faux lock attach the excess hair and pull it through the forelock. This is just to ensure that there isn't any unraveling at a later stage. Then I'm going to repeat that process again. And then I take the little hair left over and just wrap it all the way around until it is finished. 
and then I rub my hands all the way up the forelock and voila just like that you are done so I'm pretty much gonna repeat the exact same steps as I did with the first forelock that I made I'm just gonna take my forelock extension take my crochet needle and put it through the loop of the forelock attach the crochet needle to my braided hair and then shimmy the forelock all the way up to the base of my braided hair then I'm just gonna move the hair out of the way just so I can work a little bit more easily now I'm just gonna crochet my braided hair through the unwrapped part of the forelock this is just to add a little bit more security to ensure that the forelock does not slip or anything When that's all done, I am going to take my crochet needle and crochet the hair which we're going to use to wrap the unwrapped part of the forelock through the base of my hair. And as you can see, I made this braid a little bit too tight, so it was a little bit of a struggle to pull the hair through the base. So don't make this mistake, okay? Then we're just going to wrap the hair all the way down until the unwrapped part of the forelock is completely wrapped and covered. Oh my gosh you guys, Like I could cry real tears right now, okay, like real genuine tears. So what had happened was uh, the last five minutes of my footage, my camera was completely out of focus. I don't know what happened. The whole thing was a blur as you can see. I am so, so sorry you guys that I couldn't finish the video the way I would have liked to. But you pretty much do the exact same process that I previously demonstrated with the first forelock that I made. Just wrap the hair all the way down, crochet the excess hair through the forelock to secure it from unraveling. And that's about it. I'm so sad that I didn't get a chance to show you guys how I incorporate the curly hair into the style because I really like the aesthetic that it adds to the hair but if you are familiar with crocheting then the concept shouldn't be that hard to grasp if you don't know how to crochet however you could check out a couple of videos on YouTube there's a whole lot of them so you would use the exact same method to crochet the curly hair on different sections all around your head to achieve that good day see beautiful look to your forelocks so yeah thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and i can't wait to see you in the next one